Hey there, Alan from Praise here. I want to talk to you real quick about the living hope and the fact that we have a living hope. And that may not seem like a big deal. It might just seem like it's the same as a, a normal hope. But the fact that our hope is living is a big, big deal. Here's what I mean by that. First Peter chapter 1, verse 3 through 6 says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice. Though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials. I don't know about you, but these last months have been uh, something I would qualify or call various trials. It has been a rough go for me. It seems like you're climbing out of something and then you go right back in. So the wind blows one way one day and then a different way the other day. This is an anchor that I borrowed from a friend because my family was going on vacation and and we were renting a boat and it didn't come with an anchor and so i borrowed it ahead of time and and it's it, it's really effective for what it does right like you drop the anchor overboard and then when it reaches the bottom of the water uh, 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 the the water floor the lake floor then then it holds fast and then no matter which way the wind might be pulling you or pushing you, you stay fast. So, so essentially, if the wind's going this way one day or, or, or just for a moment, then, then you'll go this way so far. But then if you go back the other way, same thing. You'll only go so far, but it holds you in the midst of it, forward, back. That's what it means when it calls uh, a Jesus Christ and what he has accomplished for us, the steadfast anchor of the soul. And the fact that that hope, the same word that's used there is here in 1 Peter, the fact that that hope is a living hope means that it is even more steadfast. Our hope is living because of the fact that Jesus Christ rose from the dead. He was resurrected. And when Jesus Christ was resurrected from the dead, he was justified. What I mean by that is everything that he ever said, because God raised him from the dead, it means that it was true, right? All of the promises, all of the teachings, everything Jesus Christ said, when he raised from the dead, it was justified. And in that same way, through his resurrection, we also are justified. So it makes that hope even more secure that it is living today. And, and even if you continue reading that passage, it says just essentially that very same thing. Because we rose from the dead, because he rose from the dead, we are more secure regardless of the various trials. And our inheritance is now imperishable, undefiled, and unfading. Why? Because our hope is alive. Thank God that you have a living hope today. And no matter which way the wind blows, you are secure. God bless.